Alors, mesdames, messieurs, je suis avec euh, Mark Madden et euh, justement, lui qui a été, euh, il a écrit beaucoup sur la lutte et maintenant, il est euh, bien sûr le color man à côté de Tony Chavani. So, uh, Mr. Madden, welcome to this uh, French show. Thanks for having me. Bonjour. Bonjour. That's good. Uh, you told me that... Ne uh, parle pas français. What about those five years of French? Did no good. No good whatsoever. So, il a pris cinq ans de français, mais il peut pas parler français. That, that's strange. What about your feeling? You, you know, you, you wrote a lot about wrestling and everything happening here tonight. What's your feeling about well, that? Well, tonight's a great thing. I mean, to combine two of the three biggest creative minds in wrestling in the decade of the 90s, uh, Eric Bischoff and Vince Russo, is unheard of. They have two guys that creative in a partnership has never really happened in wrestling. Now, there's obviously going to be a good side and a bad side, Mark. They know what to do. They know how to write scripts. They know how to write storylines. But can they work together? Two pretty big egos there. La grosse question, comme ils disent, qui est importante de savoir, c'est que Vince Russo et Rick Bischoff, deux des trois plus grands scénaristes des années 90 pour la lutte, maintenant, oui, ils savent écrire, oui, ils savent planifier les scénarios, mais est-ce qu'ils vont pouvoir travailler? What's your feeling about that, them working together? It'll either work big or fail big. I don't think there'll be any middle ground. I think if they can put aside whatever differences they do have, and agree to disagree on some points. Compromise in a few places, although not too much, because compromise absolutely destroys creativity, in my opinion. But if they can learn to work together, the product will indeed be something special. And I think you are seeing the beginning of something special here tonight. Alors, il nous dit que le mot, c'est le compromis, mais d'un autre côté, il dit que lorsqu'il y a un compromis, que ça, ça peut tuer la créativité. Alors, ça sera vraiment à surveiller, mais ce qu'il nous dit en terminant, c'est que cette, cette soirée de Nitro sera vraiment le début d'une nouvelle ère et ça sera à voir. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, you weren't talking bad about me. No, no, bad, I would not do that. I would not do that. Okay. That's not my style. Hey, And... the Canadians made a nice run. Maybe they'll make the playoffs next year. Maybe not, too. Ha, ha, ha. La sensation de la WCW depuis son arrivée, naturellement, Bill Goldberg, qui, euh, naturellement, attend avec impatience un retour euh, spécial à la WCW. Bill, first of all, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I want to know something. Besides, because a lot of fans in Canada wanted to know what happened with Bill Goldberg, because, of course, you, uh, you attended some, some movies and you've done a lot of things. Are you going to you pursue a career of, of uh, acting? Well, yeah, no question. I, uh... First and foremost, I owe my life and my success and everything that I've accomplished as of late to the, the you know, sport of wrestling. So therefore, I am totally committed to WCW in any direction that they, uh, they take right now forward. Uh, but unfortunately, since I've been hurt since Christmas, uh, I haven't been a part of the show. I haven't uh, been able to be myself. But I have been able to go out and do mainstream interviews, uh, movie premieres, stuff like that. So it's just keeping myself out of the public. Absolutely. Alors, ce que Bill nous disait tout simplement, c'est que naturellement, il est corps et âme pour la WCW, ce qui lui a donné d'ailleurs une très, très grosse chance. Et malheureusement, à cause de, depuis décembre, une blessure assez importante, Bill ne pouvait pas revenir à la WCW comme il l'aurait voulu. Par contre, il est là constamment pour les, les premières de film. On l'a pu le voir justement avec Jean-Claude Van Damme et ainsi de suite. Et il va faire un, un éventuel retour. And right now, since uh, we're uh, coming in with a new era with WCW, what's your feeling about it? Uh, you know, at the beginning I was skeptical, but unfortunately we are in a position right now to where we need to make decisions, we need to make them fast, and we need to, to have everybody on board to uh, fight for the common goal, which is to get us ahead of the ratings, to get us to be number one again. Uh, whether it's Eric Bischoff, whether it's the Queen of England, whether it is, uh, you know, President Clinton, I, I really don't care right now. We need to focus all of our attention forward and be very positive about the product we're going to Absolutely. Ce que Bill nous explique, c'est que naturellement, avec ce qui se passe, le nouveau changement complet de la WCW, l'important, c'est que peu importe qui dirige la WCW, que ce soit Eric Bischoff, la reine d'Angleterre, on s'en fout. L'important pour lui, c'est qu'on soit tous ensemble, main dans la main, et qu'on produise quelque chose pour que justement tout remonte comme il se doit à la WCW. What can the fans can expect on Bill Goldberg in the next, next month to go, next year to go? Oh, God, I don't know what is in store for my comeback, but uh, the only thing that I can tell you that will be reminiscent of whatever I do is that it's going to be violent, and it's going to be very, very uh, unforgettable. Unforgettable. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to be involved with when I get back, nor do I care. I'm going to come back as Goldberg himself can only come back. Um, I am 
looking only forward and I have a lot of vented anger to take out on a lot of people. Oh. So people can choose their sides all they want until I come back, but when I come back, they better make a uh, concerted effort to stay out of my way. Ce que je viens de demander à M. Bill Goldberg, tout simplement, qu'est-ce que les fans partout au travers le monde, naturellement chez nous au Québec et au Canada, à quoi peuvent s'attendre justement le retour de Bill Goldberg? Il dit, peu importe ce qui arrive, moi ce que je veux, c'est faire un retour. J'ai tellement de rage intérieure qu'il faut que je jette. Peu importe qui va se trouver devant mon chemin, mais peu importe, je vous le dis tout de suite, là, c'est que ma rage va sortir, puis celui qui va être devant moi, il est mieux de s'atteler. Bill, one more time, thanks a lot for all the fans in Canada. And hope uh, the career continues in WCW. My pleasure. Thank you for Thank your you time. And uh, hello to everybody out there. We'll be back. Be back there soon. And when we do, hold on to your seats. Alors voilà. Merci, Bill.